Libra, how are you doing? So we're here to do your March reading. We're going to look into the moment before and then the moment after just to see, check up on things of what's been going on. Uh, also for Patreon members or if you want to become a Patreon member, it's now gone down from $16 down to $5. So if you want to join, you have access to all of your readings and everything else. Uh, that was on other tiers, it all goes to tier 1, so if you want to join it, it's literally $5 and it really does just help me out with the channel in order to keep going on, so let's see, so, uh, but you can find all the links to everything below in the show more section, okay, so let's see, the moment before, Libra, there you are, so dethroning, thrown, some kind of throwing, I don't know why, throwing caution to the wind, throwing caution to the wind, the Queen of Swords, there's a lot to do with being a parent, being a mother or being a parent, there was someone that probably uh, that was cut out of your life. This could have been something that abruptly happened where people might have started arguing with one another um, and having serious discussions about life and things. This could have been a uh, probably finalizing of a marriage or um, anything that went to court, anything that was uh, in the system. I'm always, pick I'm always, always picking up in the system. I'm always picking something up, I'm always detecting something, detecting, I'm always detecting that there is something to do with being a mum, okay, also, but uh, there's also seeming like that there's, if for some of you out there, it could be like there's a private detective, like someone's always detecting something, always detecting something that's wrong, it's like I have this feeling all the time that there's detecting that something's wrong, detecting, detecting, they keep saying detecting, uh, some of this could have gone to court and it could have been a finalisation of a marriage because there would have been a decision that came through so it would have pretty much uh, there could have been harsh words that have been between you and someone else okay so you've got the star so it could have well been with an Aquarius okay this could be an Aquarius as well um, but it feels like now that you've stopped, signed a new contract for some of you this is a new contract at work or, or had okay but um it's kind of like, well, I want the truth from this Aquarius. So I really need them to just tell me the truth because it feels like that this is written. <laughs> it feels like it's written. Something to do with uh, new contracts at work as well, they keep saying. Like, there's something that you've got there that you probably own your own company or something that you really want to do. And it is your wish to do it. And it feels like, but you feel, but it might feel like you're being commanded to do it. Like, there's some kind of like commanding. Or demanding, that's what I'm picking up, uh, demand, like someone's demanding to know something. So it could be you, but also like a lot of demand. They keep saying demand, demand, demand. I demand to know, like, what is this feeling that I have of the star? What is this feeling of what's out there as well? Libra, Libra. Show me the moment before with Libra. Uh, there are things that you don't quite know yet, Libra. <laughs> there are things that you don't quite yet know. There's your card, the High Priestess. This is really trying to engage on the communication between you and this person. I pick up that there's a lot of this contract stuff. There is a lot of seeking advice, but there's a lot of like out there. Like I'm, some of you are really not talking to a parent. In uh, like, if you've got like. Um, if you're not talking to a parent, okay, then there's a lot of like, I don't want to know. Do not talk. Do not say something. This is kind of like, like that don't speak song, right? Don't speak. Don't speak. I don't, I know what you're saying, but I don't know what you're saying. It's kind of like, well, I know you, but it's like, I can live with it, with you, but I can't, I can't, I can't live with you and I can't live without you. But I can't also live with this knowing that someone tries to talk that doesn't want to talk it's like i just don't want to talk to anybody at the moment i just feel like mm, i don't know because the star is there you see there's a lot of major arcanas and major things that have probably been going on around you libra that you might have felt that is happening uh but you were trying to engage on how you would physically talk to this person. So it might mean that someone wanted to talk all of the time and talk and talk and talk. And someone could be very talkative and you're kind of like, listen, I haven't got time to talk all the time. I just want to be quiet. Some Libras, I noticed that male Libras mainly uh, can be very, uh, I mean, I get on really well with Libra, um, but but male Libras seem to be more balanced within communication and can be very quiet, but come out with some great advice. 
uh, and then I pick it up differently with <laughs> with a female because uh, I, I I don't know I think it I, I know different kinds of Libras it really does depend on the rest of your chart but it feels like I just want to be quiet and I just want to be left alone but also there's this feeling that something is happening the feeling something was happening or it's obviously going to still be present within your reading for March um, yeah, so you came up against judgment again. This is a new contract. This is for a lot of you. This is a brand new person that suddenly a door closed and then all of a sudden another one opened, <laughs> and you're like, oh my word, this is a brand new beginning of that I've got now. And then as soon as this door closes, another one opens. Trust me, when judgment calls and you make your final decision, okay, then you start a new cycle with a brand new uh, spiritual path and spiritual calling and spiritual people, okay? But there's a lot of um, being quiet about a gift here. It's like, well, I kind of like have a gift, but I'm still trying to tune in to what on earth that is. It's kind of like, well, I'm just out there and I feel all of this stuff and it's just a feel. I just, they just keep saying, like, I just feel all of this stuff. I just constantly feel it and feel it and feel it, but... Because there's a detecting as well for a lot of you. This can be like an illness that someone is detecting or was detecting that there was a serious illness in the family with somebody. Okay, that that's for some of you because this is like an ailment, but keeping quiet about this ailment. Okay, it's saying uh, ill will. They're saying also ill will. So they're also saying um, <laughs> kill Bill, <laughs> but uh, like. Um, Ill will, like a will, like someone received like a, a major outcome or like a major um, risk because this is receiving something. OK, so you I, I think a lot of you probably received some kind of like will from someone that could have passed on. OK, but this is also like a strong connection uh, with this is a very spiritual connection that you've got within yourself. This is a medium as well, like uh, someone that's very receptive to energy, but still learning uh, exactly what that is. But a lot of you still uh, have been on that path. And, and the reason why I do these Libra is because when we go into your march, these really do compare with the cycle that you've been going through with a cycle that you can probably see a reflection of what starts to happen again. OK, because there's a lot of like again and again. It's like, well, it's happening again. It's like I'm just like have this detecting there's a lot of work contracts i mean you could really own your own uh company okay and that you do it and direct it your way okay and there's a lot of like well it's your way it's my way libra's way but it's a lot to do with also that i also need to find more of a, a balanced approach of what is fair okay so there seems to be like contracts that are like finished that you've kind of like thought, well, these are old contracts and I can't deal with old contracts anymore. I've got to start new contracts. Oh, nine, oh, nine on the clock. I have to start new contracts at work. I have to start a new beginning and we have to start off fresh. So this is a break as well. It's like taking a break a lot of like, I just need to take a break. <laughs> right. These are like school holidays and stuff as well. Like um, I'm picking up like transportation as well, like a lot of um because I'm, I'm also hearing that someone passed on in a different, uh, that didn't live with you, but they passed on. And some people want the, the person to be brought back to where you live. Okay. Now, if we go on to like a, just a normal reading, then the past started to happen again. This is being triggered by a door closed for a lot of you. And then a new person just entered into your life, but it's triggering you again. You see that a lot of, what happened with you, Libra, is what I'm seeing is, is that you avoided something that you didn't realize through your intuition that you never do until you experience it. OK, when you experience it, you naturally take on what comes to you. OK, and because of that, I think a lot of you uh, uh, didn't finish a contract fully like you did finish the contract and it finished but you didn't finish the lesson that was fully there for you. So normally what happens is, is that we turn around and then we walk into another circumstance and we go for another and another and another. And a lot of that feeling through what I'm getting here is to do with, I'm still trying to understand, Steve. <laughs> I'm still trying to understand that why what happened before is being shown to me yet again. There's a lot of things that are being been shown to you, Libra, that is asking you to... Uh, stand up for yourself and to be more uh, 
uh, have more of an equilibrium within life, to be more balanced and fair and just. A lot of you know that things that I normally say for different readings, and I never, I think I did in a Libra reading, is, is that life is all about Adam and Eve, basically, okay, and quality. And we have to form that within a soul of equilibrium of giving fairly to everybody that we meet in our soul groups and then also taking the right amount as well okay and then when we perfectly have that who knows what happens but generally that's what we're here for is to come up against every single soul mate or soul person that we meet and then when we do meet them we have a lot of like judgment where we judge upon them for how they look or how they feel or how they act or what they do or what they say you see actions changes time and action changes things okay so actions change your future you create your future as by the actions that you've done or presently do and if you don't take any actions that's where things can get very difficult and you're called upon for judgment okay because you have to take actions for life okay so there's a lot of like um actions that wasn't learned in soul lessons through periods of time in the past that are calling you for judge that called upon you for judgment of why you walked into another circumstance that's a lot to do with people that are uh like just found someone new but still that same feeling through what happened with contracts at work you see work are also soul groups and they're also energy of money okay and then when we get that equilibrium of doing everything that's fair you see later on in life what we realize is definitely libra okay because you represent the scale of the earth <laughs> so basically okay that when contracts at work and stuff like that come up as well if we uh didn't learn within a contract of equilibrium okay later on in life when we come up against new contracts we may have lost a load of contracts and we didn't realize why because within the subconscious memory of being a human being we would look at that as just like oh I just lost contracts I'm just gonna have to get some new ones okay but by equilibrium of what was fair and just that's the universe taking things from you that wasn't fair you see, the universe will take things from you and also give things from you. And some people out there think that, well, that's law of attraction. <laughs> Trust me, Libra, that is an absolute load of bull. Okay, it's not law of attraction. Law of attraction isn't. Law of attraction means law of action. Law of action, for and against. Okay, foreign, for and against, also judging. Uh, court, karmic law. Okay, it's attraction. So what you attracted within this time is to be called upon to judge so things that may have you may have lost in the past or gained either way you have lost a load but you will gain a load for a new cycle that you start through march okay also for a lot of you if you did lose things and not a physical person okay i don't want to go into the depth of my visions of like people okay but uh for the visions of depth of contracts it's the same kind of feeling you know it whatever was took from you that you lost you were supposed to lose okay because you're supposed to gain more in the future by new projects that start at work okay so it's calling you to i don't know why this is going to a spiritual reading Libra, but it's calling you to um take on this new contract and see it within a different pair of eyes that is more for either one you if you was giving way too much before or not okay so you're gonna have to try and figure <laughs> you have to try and figure that one out because there are going to be new contracts that are going to be signed here okay soul group people that you're going to try to search for so you might be a, an independent woman that works for oneself and what you're searching for are clients okay you're searching for clients so you're searching for soul groups so you're searching a lot of it searching someone likes the searches <laughs> or the proclaimers proclaim i'm hearing claim claim someone claimed some money and they come into a because this is a gift and that your path is now clear so it's like a big ending and it feels like that you were uh, searching for something and you claimed they're saying proclaimers claim claiming claim i have need to claim something someone wanted to also claim you as if to say you're mine <laughs> you're mine till the end of time you're mine until the end of time someone also got incarcerated into time they, they they get also getting lost in time 
okay? Um, but like I said, the best way to ever figure out time and metaphysics is realizing what I said before, which is action changes time. So action changes things. Periodically of karma, okay, my belief is changing now a lot through, uh, I don't really know as far as past life karma, because your timeless karma is created by the karma that you create presently in the present tense, okay? So that's action. So the actions that you take now will physically change a reading, and they will physically change yourself. You will still have major arcanas, but you can always just decide to do something extremely stupid that you didn't think, but you would just do it, okay, and you wasn't supposed to. You can, you know, people, <laughs> I'm not going to go into the depth of, like, anything bad, but do you know what I'm saying? You can decide to do literally anything with your life you wish. Okay, and there's a lot of wishing upon a star. It's kind of like, well, what's out there for me, you know? So um, it definitely feels like the attraction. It's you change your future by the actions that you take or don't take. And that's why that's very important for you, Libra. And that's why it's very important for this reading of what they're saying. Is, is that it depends on what actions that you took before or didn't take before in relationship factors or contracts of anything that you didn't take that you felt that you should have done that you're going to be called upon for judgment or did call, be called upon for judgment to play out another cycle of the same kind of soul person okay and also groups that exactly the same thing will happen again you'll play out a contract okay through march onward okay and then you will also see things taken or given through the periodic time in the future okay that's getting deep, Libra. <laughs> getting deep. Duped. Duped. I'm hearing Duke. Duke. Duke Wellington. Why on earth am I hearing Duke Wellington? Really? Duke Wellington. Or uh, D uh, Wellington. Someone likes the food. Uh, Wellington. Like Wellington Duck? Why are they, uh, are they saying Wellington Duck? But the food Wellington. But also like... um stories like Wellington, D uh, Duke Wellington and uh, Dick Whittington. They're also saying Dick Whittington, <laughs> Whittington or Wick Whittaker or Wicking, Wicken. I'm also, oh, I mean, you're also hearing a Wicken. <laughs> uh, but Wicking, uh, Wicked. I'm also hearing Wicked. Like, that's just Wicked. You don't need to say that to me. <laughs> Someone's just, like, really demanding and strict and they're like, you... Don't tell me. <laughs> Do not tell me. <laughs> I can hear like a headmistress as well. Headmistress. Let's see. My girlfriend could well walk through the door in a second, so please excuse me, Libra. <coughs> that <coughs> does happen. <coughs> Show me the moment before what's been going on with Libra. You see, it, it, you just are, are out there, Libra. You, this is you. You're out there. Um, this is like the world is now my oyster. The, I'm hearing oysters. I'm also hearing like a chef and also cooking. Okay, a lot to do with cooking and oysters. But uh, well, oh wow, what do you, what do they call that? Uh, <laughs> luckily, you're just here. Hi what do they call that when you have oysters for a sexual, uh, what do they call that? Um, um, where you have oysters and things like that. Please someone mention that in the comments. Um, for aphrodisiac, aphrodisiac. Some of you are like chemists and medicine and all that and you're into like aphrodisiacs and, and uh, like placebo. They're also saying like a placebo effect. Placebo, it's been like, uh, the, I'm also hearing butterfly effect. Butterfly effect, something from the past, <laughs> something from the past. Is happening again, but um, placebo. I'm also hearing a like, placebo effect, uh, like doctors and things like that. Okay, um, but I'm also like the world is your oyster now. Like you were looking at this, if you're saying something to do with oysters and cooking, like cooking and oysters and things like that. Fish, right? Might be a Pisces. This could be a Pisces, Libra, Virgo, Aquarian, but um, fish, fishing for a dream. Some of you are like fishing for a dream. It's just like, well, my dream here is, is right in front of my eyes now. So the world is my oyster and I can pretty much do as I please. So I'm now free. There's a lot of like freedom. For I want to be free to do what I want to do to be what I want to be. <laughs> da, 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 da. 
<laughs> we want to be free to party, right? Freedom. Freedom. Um, I'm thinking of Richie Havens as well. I really like that, freedom. Um, but there's a lot of uh, incarceration of someone that you could have lost to do with a prison sentence, maybe. Okay, and you go backwards and forwards to see this person. Okay, and you had to go backwards and forwards to see them and the judge and, and everybody was all involved of someone having to like sign on the dotted line. There was a divorce, I think, a settlement at court where it's like a sign on the dotted line. Okay, and it's just like, will you Libra? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> all right, yeah, can you just sign on this dotted line? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing that one. But uh, yeah, I can see it through that judgment card that a lot of you that was a finalization of a divorce settlement that you went through okay also at work where a lot of things were finalized and it was like well thank goodness that all those contracts are really kind of like over and done and now because my dream is is to start more is to start again they keep saying like start over Libra happened before, but these cards can really be good sometimes when we start to compare them with your your uh, future reading. What's been going on with Libra? Virgo. So now what you're looking at is a Virgo. So you could have ended something with someone, and your new person now is a Virgo, and you're just now like. Oh, wow, just what do I do now about this Virgo? What do I do now about this Virgo? Okay, a lot of you could have this in their chart, but <coughs> literally so could everybody else. You see, they could have placements in their chart that you really didn't know or don't know. Okay, so there's a lot of like, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of like feeling like so lost as well, Libra. Like, because I'm hearing that song that's called Lost Without You. And I really forget what her name is, but there is a song called Lost Without You. Okay, uh, she has black curly hair, um, and it's a woman that does actually sound a little bit like Leo Sayer, a bit like a guy. It does look, actually look a little bit like Leo Sayer, but it's actually a woman. Okay, it's called Lost Without You. But there's like, I just feel like lost without you, like I'm just lost and lost, lost. It's lot like a lost and found. A lot of this is like a mission, okay, like a mission, because they're, they're picking up like a, a lost and found mission where someone runs a mission for for the homeless and and all that sort of thing some of you could have been homeless or like i don't think it's you libra because it feels like there's a mission they keep saying something to do with a, a mission in action like i'm, I'm missing sorry <laughs> i'm actually missing in action for some reason i feel that within my soul but i also feel like i'm missing out on action i'm missing out but i'm also hearing uh, mission like where they give clothes to charity organizations and stuff uh, and it's how much do you have that we can take from you as well okay how much do you have because we're lost we're out there and we don't know like where we're gonna go and where we're gonna live there's also like a Virgo out there that's kind of like saying that to you probably where it's like well I don't know where to go I don't know where I'm gonna live so like can I come back here to judgment to give you an apology or to give you something for what you may give me I don't know why I'm kind of like feeling this more of a uh, like a like caught between a rock and a hard place Libra caught between a rock and a hard place definitely between this hermit because it feels like well I just need to like reach out to you but it's like I don't know how to reach out to you like because I feel lost without you but that I'm really picking up of this stubborn energy from someone as if to say, no, I'm not reaching out to you. This this could be a moon or rising or so person, but no, I'm not reaching out to you. And then there's an energy here that's like just wondering as if to say, well, why on earth did all that happen? What, you know, I can't figure out physically why you cut me out. And there's like well I've got good intentions of why I kicked you out because whatever happened in your life Libra it seemed like you could have well have been the one that done that that said you know this stuff here is just no more and I, I but there feels like an energy that is like still wandering that it's still in your energy it's still there which means there's still a lesson there that can come back 
through retrograde times again. So through this time that we now go into March, this is retrograde. This is where the past has just started to... When did we hit retrograde? 14? Today. 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 <laughs> and this is... Yeah, these probably won't be out for you guys yet because we're looking in the moment before. But within that retrograde period, it seems like someone is... Ah, oh, the new is entering, which is retrograde, which, trust me, do not... <laughs> well, you'll have, you've got to see your contract out. But you're just going to witness people that are just going to pop in front of your eyes, you know, oh, my word. <laughs> you're back really I've just seen you again or you're just going to see someone and you're going to go or did sorry I keep saying go did go to somewhere and you see them again and it made someone start thinking see that's your contract it wasn't over but it doesn't mean that you have to talk because I don't think that anyone did speak I think that you just see them and didn't say anything or they didn't. I don't think either of you did. I think you just bumped into one another, see each other, didn't say anything. And uh, that was retrograde. <laughs> That's retrograde for you, Libra. Okay, so we're now going to look into the future. Look into Steam's crystal ball. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> so we're looking into the future, but we don't do too many because I am really hoping for people to, to... This is just to give you a general knowledge of how I read cards, okay? Uh, and then I really do need support with the channel, and that's why I've put everything down over on Patreon to $5, and you get to see all of your readings. Things will change. You obviously still say, as I said, through the weekly, that you get uh, also meditation music or stuff that I will do throughout the year. You can download it as an MP3, but they will get better as I kind of like have time. But... Um, yeah, there will be different stuff that will be added, but it's basically all one tier. So let's look for Libra for March. Show me Libra for March. Now coming up for March. It's also my birthday. <laughs> March 8th. Let's see. Libra for March. Show me Libra. March 2020. So... Really? Same cards. Aries. Aries. Now, company starts off. But again, there's a lot of stuff that is still that you're not talking to someone. There's a lot of uh, demand at work now. There's a lot more concrete evidence is what they're saying. There's some concrete evidence. I'm also picking up a memorial stone for some because I'm picking up like concrete and I'm picking up a, uh, what do they call that, that someone that chisels stone, um, what do they call them? I can't uh, think, someone please mention it in the comment, but you know when they chisel stones and stuff, like old, old stones, or looking into crystals and stones as well, they're saying, um, but one strange fact, Libra, if I can just keep you with me, my girlfriend, if I mentioned this before, it was on your extended though, that when I'm doing this and I'm channeling, she's picking up, or was picking up stuff from what they call ad words? Arrow words. Arrow words. <laughs> and it's a bit like a, you come up with like a crossword type sort of thing. And then I was channeling these messages before at exactly the same time as what that was being written on that piece of paper that she was doing. <laughs> that was very strange. But, um, yeah, anyway, but you have a lot of like, uh, uh, a lot of contracts at work, but there's a lot of like, uh, I just am not going to talk to this person and that I am not going to, <laughs> if there's kind of like, what's a knot corner knot? Neither's not. There is a knot. It's a Celtic cross. It's Irish. Okay. But it basically means Celtic cross and it means I am not corner, meaning I'm not going to be cornered. Okay. I am not going to be confined and I don't want to feel conf like I don't want to work for this Aries if you do if it's like I do not want to work for the government I do not want to work for the council I do not want to work for this Aries is what they're saying and I do not like how they tell me and I do not like how they tell me and I don't like how you tell me 
is a bit like show and tell, you know, like, oh, what was there? It's like, oh, dear, <laughs> you know, it's a bit like, well, you show me and I'll show you. It's like, well, I'll show you. And it's like, well, you won't show me because I'll show you and I just won't say anything. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of that, Libra, that seems to be going on between you that are both older and wiser as well. There's a lot of white wisdom, wisdom coming out with the Jim Morrison, uh, <laughs> a Jim Morrison thing. Okay. So, I mean, that's just engaging on your, we, we, you have to clarify these really to, to see what they are, to, to continue the channel. But, uh, does it like continue the channel as well? Like I'm hearing, like continue the, the channel tunnel, London, I'm picking up London, the channel tunnel, uh, France, France, or France, je <laughs> oui. but uh, children are now involved. There's a lot of children. Seems to be like this high priestess here is surrounded by children, okay? Um, that could also be an Aquarian for some of you. Uh, there, you have an Aquarius child, okay? That, for some, if you're not looking at that, that's still that they could also have Aries in their chart, some of your children, okay? And there's a lot of being a mum uh, and court situations that could be going on that's obviously involving you and the divorce settlement and like children that were all involved in that, okay? Uh, but some of this is like working for children. So there's a lot of contracts that are starting up. It's to do with this page. You see, there's still a lot of light watching. This message, these messages and pages don't get delivered. It's like, well, it's not delivered yet. So there's a message that someone is thinking about that isn't delivering it. It's like, well, I'm just watching, but I'm not actually doing anything. You know, there's a lot of watching, but there's not a lot of doing. You know, so whoever that is, I've got no idea. But if it relates to you, Libra, there seems to be a lot of watching, which I said is time a lot of watching for time timekeeping i'm also hearing timekeeping but also action you see action changes time so there has to be action and there's a lot of counter reactions counter reactions someone feels very counter reactive counter reactive i'm also oh, I'm here's also sorry for a lot of you i am hearing uh, this uh, radiation okay radiation that could have a lot to do with like radiator, like heating and stuff. But uh, I'm hearing like uh, radiation for someone that could have gone through a like a, a scare of cancer, maybe, or just a checkup. And somebody, it's to do with radiation, because saying some something's radioactive or radio. Like all we hear is radio gaga. Radio is new, someone still loves you. Someone still loves you. <laughs> this person that passed on still loves you. Okay? Oh dear, no. <laughs> I don't know if you can remember a few months back when I absolutely broke down in tears on one of your reading. Tears and hem and Eric Clapton. Okay, and I started absolutely blubbering in your reading. <laughs> so I do apologise. But uh, they still love you. The person that you lost, they're saying, ah, I still love you. And they're searching to give you a message. So they're out there pretty much. Okay. But also this person um, from the past still loves you. Someone still loves you. Or you still love them. One more card, please, for Libra for March. One more card, please, for Libra for March. Ooh, four, 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 four. You see Scorpio. I was going to say it's a Scorpio. It's a Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. <laughs> you could have Scorpio in your chart. Okay, you could have Scorpio in your chart. But you definitely do not want to talk to this person. Definitely not. Okay, okay, but uh, okay, I'm hearing okay, or uh, orchid, orchids, orch <laughs> orchids. Sorry, I was picking up on the, the flower orchid, but they're saying now my spirits are, yeah, I have this way of like orchids, 
Okay, something to do with orchids. It's like I don't even want to even pay attention to my kids. An orchid, or even my kids. Stop being a kid. <laughs> Sorry. Stop being a kid. Grow up. <laughs> right? Stop being a kid and just grow up. I think that's what some of you are saying. Listen, stop being a kid. Will you just grow up? Well, listen, will you just stop? Keep talking to me. Will you stop just watching everything that I do? Stop being a kid and just grow up. Stop keep looking at me for the answers when I'm just interested in watching Steve's channel. Thanks, Libra. But <laughs> will you stop being a kid and just watching? And will you do something? That could be an Aries that's saying this that's a cross watcher to someone that has Libra in their chart but that more than likely wouldn't be watching this channel. So please keep an open mind. But there's someone that's saying, don't, will you get up and do something? <laughs> will you get up, move and do something? Because it feels like someone's just sitting there and not doing anything with time or action. They're looking for someone for answers, but they're physically not doing anything, which is no action, which is what I said, missing in action, because I'm not doing anything, okay? Now, if that's coming across as you, labourer, 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 a labourer. I'm also picking up labour. Labour Party, oh, the British Labour Party. <laughs> but labour, labour. Like, oh, I'm in labour. Or oh, some of you are in labour and that's why you can't move. Sorry. <laughs> no, that was even rude, right? Sorry. But I had labour, as in like, Steve, I am in labour. I'm just about to give birth to this child and I can't move at the moment. <laughs> it's a bit like can't cook, won't cook. No, don't want to, can't. Will you, babe, will you please go out and get me some Rocky Road and like four litres of... <laughs> Someone, yeah. Someone's into like metrics. Metrics or matrix. Well, yeah, welcome to my world, but matrix, but metrics, the metric system which is measurements, measure, someone's comparing. Well, nothing compares to you, Libra, <coughs> and someone is comparing sizes, as if to say, my size is bigger than your size. <laughs> someone is sizing you up, Libra, or you're sizing someone up, as if to say, well, I'm watching you, and I'm just waiting for you to open up to do something. And you're kind of like, pfft, <laughs> pfft, just, yeah. <laughs> right? Hmm. Definite Scorpio energy around you, though. Right? But there is a lot of, like, will you stop making so much noise, be quiet, and just move and do something for yourself? <laughs> right? That's what that is. That could be you. And listen, listen. Stop talking to me when I'm trying to think, because I can't hear myself think. Please be quiet and get up and do something. <laughs> right? Right? There. Will you stop just pestering me? And just leave me alone. <laughs> right? That's being channeled, Libra. Okay, so we're going to go on with the rest of your reading. That's nearly 40 minutes. We're going to go on with the rest of your reading. I really do hope that a lot of you do support me and follow me over on Patreon. It's literally $5 for every single reading. gets put straight to Patreon. And you get to watch Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your Jupiter. That's your Jupiter is your masculine your venus is your feminine okay but also your descending could really help as well so try those but that is the reason why so a lot of people can actually catch up and i'm going to do different readings but we compare stuff okay if you want a personal reading or any of those links you can find all of that in the show more section underneath the video okay and i will hopefully see you on the other side thanks very much libra please give it a like share and comment and i'll see you on the other side thanks guys